Having more connection between your arms in your golf swing is gonna help multiple things. It's gonna help the swing path, it's gonna help you create more power, more lag on the downswing, and it's gonna really help you release the golf club better for straighter shots. So make sure you check out this video where I share with you an amazing exercise that's gonna do all that. So I love this drill. I use it with a lot of my students. It's probably not the first time you've seen one of these around someone's neck. You'll have definitely seen a lot of the tour players doing it. Now, it doesn't have to have a lanyard part to it, but it's just quite helpful to stop you chasing after the ball everywhere. But just a small football, something pretty lightweight between your forearms would do the trick. And it helps so many areas of the game. Potentially, you've seen this but wondered if it's relevant for you or not in terms of a training exercise. I think it helps so many aspects that I just want to quickly highlight some of them. So first one would really be that I don't get this trail arm working too high above me in the backswing. So this chicken wing-esque movement. We want that trail elbow to start to fold downwards and we're looking for almost a weighter position with our trail hand at the top of the golf swing now we're not going to get it here but we're feeling that movement so the trail elbow is moving down the arm is starting to fold and that has to happen to keep this ball in place okay so it keeps my forearms if i let that ball drop pretty close together we're not seeing this big separation in the back swing that's going to help multiple things but it will really help as well the club face position because when we get this trail arm working very high in the backswing we tend to get a lot of cupping or the official term would be that the lead wrist would be in extension here and that causes the club face to be open now an open club face can be very very destructive unless you're doing something about it so there are a couple of great players this way excessively at the top but they change direction change wrist angles now if you can do that and repeat it carry on but for the majority of golfers, it's just going to be simpler if we can create a flatter lead wrist and more of that weight to right hand at the top. So good for that. It's very good for our swing path or plane on the downswing in this movement. Again, if I come more over the top, this trail elbow you will see starts to work quite high. The ball will drop because there is some separation. So it allows me to keep that trail elbow low and in front of me. And that's really going to help allow that club to drop and again improve my wrist angles. So I'm starting to control this club face more. And this isn't the only three, but the last part I'm really going to focus on here is actually going to be this bit, the release movement through the golf ball. So again, we want the forearms relatively close together. We don't want that lead arm now. So it'd be the opposite movement starting to work out too high in front of us. We want to feel like, yes, there is body, uh, sorry, yes, there is arms in that release movement, but it's really being controlled by what the body is doing. And I'd maybe just start with some small little half swings before building into a full one. The full shot I did, I did not do it at a full pace. I hit it uh, 60 miles an hour with a 7 iron. So I, normally I'm at about 88. So I took the speed down to, what, about 70%, 65%, 70%. Um, I got a, a good direction on it, but I'm not overly worried about the distance when I'm starting to do this. Once you got used to it, fine, pick up the speed, pick up the pace of it. So I'm just going to do some little half ones here, working on the trail elbow folding in the back swing. You can see my forearms are quite level. And I'm just going to try and stop here in the release where, again, you would see that my forearms are pretty level on the way through. So trail elbow to fold down. And arms to be pretty level. And just working on this part of the golf swing is going to help so many golfers. If we can get this movement to halfway back good, 
how do we get to the top of the back swing? Well, we just keep that rotation. So I just keep working on this left shoulder, working more down in in front of me and my arms will move up my chest. So amazing exercise. Let's do another one of those little half ones. Trail elbow to fold down, connect the ball. And in that release position, forearms nice and level, not one higher than the other. So, I mean, I was talking about on the way through, I wouldn't want to see this lead arm working high and separating, but I, I do sometimes even see the real rollover with the trail arm where the golfer's trying to rescue it. And again, they would drop the ball. So, so good for multiple areas of the golf swing. Let's do a full shot. So when you do place, place the ball between your forearms, it's got to be almost halfway between your wrist and your elbow, just pinching them in together. It can feel quite awkward to start with. Rehearse the movements we're looking for. If the ball drops, it drops at the finish position. I'm managing to keep it, but I'm keeping it because I'm almost making quite a Tommy Fleetwood-esque movement, almost this short finish. If I finish the swing, the ball would drop. But I actually quite like doing these and actually getting this finish of being able to, or the feeling of being able to stop here, because it's also good to be able to decelerate the golf club. I won't go into massive detail. I have done some videos on decelerating to be able to accelerate and whip in the club. Very, very relevant. But rather than discuss it in too much detail, I'll put some links here that are well worth checking out. Effectively, we've got to be able to slow the club down to make sure we can reach full speed. So once you've done some of those, I would get rid of it. I would do some with it, some without it when you're training. So five with, five without. And just try and get those same sensations of what the trail elbow is starting to do in the back swing fold. My forearms are staying quite close together. Trail elbow down and in front of me, still got some flex. Forearms are pretty level here on the way through. I think it's such a great feel. I think once you've done some of those with the ball, you hit some shots and you almost still feel like it's there and it really helps create some connection. Now, don't start thinking you've got to grip it tighter to gain that connection. I want you to still loosen off, but to be able to get the, the connection between the arms. As I said, for me, multiple parts of the golf swing, that can help. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on with it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. Right now, YouTube is suggesting the next video of mine that's relevant for you. It's just here. Click on it and check it out.